The Mark IV MX-5 has a bit of a design flaw in the roof which can lead to wearing holes in the front edge of it. Fortunately, there's a nice simple fix for it which I'm going to show you today. Welcome to Lawrence Plays with Cars. My MX-5 is the Mark IV or ND from 2016. That's the pre-facelift version. When you put the roof down, it sits quite close to the seat hoops, meaning that when the car's driving and bumping around on the road, the leading edge of the roof can rub against the hoops, gradually wearing a hole. As you can see here, this has already happened to my car, so it's too late to prevent it, but I can at least do something to stop it getting any worse. The secret to fixing this is to add some little spacers that hold the roof slightly further back when it's down, making sure it can't touch the hoops. Luckily, some kind person on the internet has released a 3D printer STL file for the spacers. I've had a bit of a look to see who first created it, but everyone seems to have got the idea from someone else, so I'm afraid I can't give credit where it's due. So I printed off a pair of these, they're quite small so it didn't take too long, and took them out of the car. As you can see, they've got a curved top to help guide the roof into position, but the roof should already be far enough back that it won't come into contact with them on the way down. They're really there to stop the roof moving forwards when you hit bumps in the road. To fit them, I released the clamp that holds the roof in the down position, so it popped up slightly, applied some sticky pads to the spacers, and then pressed them into the recesses behind the seat hoops. You can clearly see the position of the spacer in its recess in this shot. It's almost as if there's supposed to be something in there. I then fitted one on the other side in exactly the same way. This only took a few seconds to do, and now as you can see, even when I shove the roof quite hard, it barely shifts and doesn't come anywhere near the seat hoops. This is much better. The roof still raises and lowers pretty much as normal, although I think it might need slightly more force to make it latch. The spaces are really just to make sure it stays where it's supposed to, rather than edging forwards to rub against the seat hoops. If you'd like to fit these to your own MX-5, I've put a link to the STL file in the video description. If you don't have a 3D printer, I've also added a link to my shop where you can pick up a set, but if you're not in the UK, the postage prices are fairly significant. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you've got a Mark IV MX-5, I recommend fitting these as soon as you can, hopefully before you start to wear a hole. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I need to replace my brakes at some point soon, so I'll be doing another video about that when I do. Thanks for watching.